Quick disclaimer, the worst reviews are meant to help people decide if they would like a game or not and are not meant to replace the experience of the game. I do however stream on Twitch frequently. I'm not a variety streamer for the sole reason that I can't be convinced otherwise that people that say they're variety streamers are fucking losers. So if you want to visit a stream where bullying is only allowed, is encouraged. The channel name is Toxic Boomy. I'm a variety streamer, so I play a bit of everything. Now that we got a shallow, I do the fucking thing. Review, whatever. Do it again, see what happens. Fuck! Welcome back to the worst review. Your one spot stop for a worst review. I'm the always unfunny Toxic Boomy, and today we're looking at Nuclear Throne. Nuclear Throne is a top-down, fast-paced roguelike where your goal is to beat the game. There are a lot of characters in Nuclear Throne, but don't listen to any of them. The only one that matters is the eyes. With different characters, weapon variety, limited inventory, and RNG, no two runs will ever be the same. The eye's special ability is telekinesis, which brings in small objects or actually slows down and pushes away enemy projectiles, making the eyes virtually unkillable. Playstyles will have to change to adapt to the run as need be. Fuck off, fuck off! I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm so dead, I'm so dead! Okay, for real it's not for play plays, the melting is the only person to be. The mutation's ability is Corpse Explosion. All Necromancer Diablo 2 players that haven't been gunned down in the streets yet like the deserve rejoice. No good other on his bullet hell elements. And it's really expanded upon during boss fights. If you didn't see this bit coming, what the fuck is wrong with you? The player's special ability is Snare. He can shoot out a seed that snares opponents. Opponents that are snared can't move, so they can't actually kill you. During the mutation screen, if you see this mutation, make sure you pick it. No, 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 no. Gonna try steroids. Never try steroids. Robot. The robot's ability lets you find tech guns a lot easier and also lets you eat guns and other weapons, giving you increased health, meaning you can't actually die. I've had to go and see a therapist because of this boss on about 13 separate occasions. What the? I know I've been making a lot of jokes for a while now, but just a quick second. Whatever you do, do not pick Crystal. Crystal takes so much fucking skill to play, and if you're a new player, you're not gonna figure it out for quite some time. Just completely forget Crystal. Just pick a different character. There's easier ones. The fish is obviously the only character to be. What's really nice about the fish is that his ability is roll, so you can finally use invincibility frames to stop getting hurt all the time. Chicken time. The chicken special ability makes it so that he cannot be killed. I was killed. The horror uses own experience points as a special ability, so do with that what you will. I absolutely fucking despise these crows. I find the rebel to be the most relatable, seeing as now he's an old bandit, but now he's going around killing his own family. No, 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 I don't know what. Due to current social issues, I can't talk about the police officer character too much. Even it is an actual portrayal of how they solve problems in Detroit. Jokes aside, YV is my favorite character. YV's special is double tap. Whenever you use his ability, you fire the gun that you're holding twice at the same time. It may not sound impressive, but if you have it with like a bazooka or a heavy crossbow, all you really need to do is use the ability once basically everything is dead. There are secret levels, that's always a nice little touch. There's a lot of variety in the enemies that you're going to come across. You'll quickly find out that your biggest adversary though is yourself. I wish there was a lot to talk about with Nuclear Throne, but there really isn't too much without getting into the nitty gritty. With fast paced game style, you develop a fast paced play style. It's going to be different from person to person or weapon to weapon. Of all the clusterfucks I've been a part of, this is probably one of the clusterfuckest. The best I can really relate it to would probably actually be a deck builder. You go in with an idea of what you want, but if you don't get what you want pretty early on, it's probably better that you ease your way into a different build that synergizes better with what you have rather than what you want. A single mutation can actually have like a really huge impact on how you're going to play the rest of the game. And if you combine that with the character that you pick and the weapons you find along the way, every time you play could be a completely different playstyle. With that being said, let's just move on to the toxicity chart. It is a roguelite meant to be difficult, so we're going to have to give it the rage rating this time. Surprise, surprise. We're gonna give it the full health rating because despite the difficulty, the runs are played out relatively quickly. And getting into another run is just as fast. There's not a lot of time to be overly upset about a recent loss. That's gonna wrap up Nuclear Throne. Like I said, I wish there was more I could talk about, but I don't wanna get into the ins and outs of the game because I'm here just to kinda of give you a heads up of what's in the game. I kinda of like making these. I think I'm gonna keep going with it until either I get bored or I find a new way to harass the general public. They know what they fucking did. Once I get more comfortable with video editing, I'll probably end up doing more recent releases. If you liked the video, thank you so much for supporting this shit show. If you didn't like it, then why the fuck are you still here all the way to the end? Get the fuck out.